suspect is about six feet tall, dark hair, and he's a pill. Copy that. Only the finest attire for a man such as yourself. Anything else I can do for you, sir? Please come again. Hey, thanks for coming by. I knew I could count on you. What for? <clears throat> Frank's organizing a sit-down with the other bosses, and he took almost all my guys as bodyguards. So I don't have nobody around to handle this here job for me. Derek, these guys still don't want to work. What? Why? Because of that deadbeat you fired. Hey. Shit. Well, Vito, that other thing will have to wait. Can you help us out here with this first? What's happening? Well, this deadbeat didn't come to work for a whole week. Pretended he was sick. Total bullshit. So I fired his ass. Anyway, some of his buddies are upset and they're threatening to strike. All I gotta do is show up with a few guys who look like they mean business. That'll scare them and they'll forget all about it. I give you a thousand bucks. Are you in? 
All right. I ain't gonna say no to that kind of money. All right. All you need to do is stand behind me and look tough. Right, Steve? We'll see. These fucking guys really think who the fuck they are. This ain't the first time I have problems with them, you know. You know how many of them there is? Three, four, ten. How the fuck should I know? Does it matter? Oh, no, nah, it's just, uh, what are we gonna do to them? All depends on how the, uh, labor negotiations go. Just let me do all the talking. I don't need just opening your mouths and proving how stunard you are. So, what's the problem here, fellas? We want you to give Big John his job back. It's me that decides who gets hired and fired around here. And I say he's fired. All we're asking is for you to hire him back. He's got a family. He needs a job. I've made my decision. See, I told you! Easy does it, Vinny. We want to do this Easy. peacefully. We bust our asses day in and day out for this fat fuck. And if anything ever happens to us, he'll screw us over Lower just like he did John. your voice now, young man. I don't want to hear another word about that fucking dead... Who are you calling a deadbeat? A crate fell on the poor guy while he was working. For you. Broke both his damn hands. Well, that's his fucking problem, not mine. And I suggest you just get back to work before somebody else's hands get you broke. You goddamn bastard! You fellas are really starting to piss me off. There's no need for violence. Please, put it down. We don't want no trouble. It don't look that way to me. Right now, looks like you got big trouble, don't you? Now, if you all don't want to start looking for new jobs, you'll be back to work in the next ten minutes. You see, Vito, all they do is bitch and moan. Vito? You're Scaletta's boy, ain't you? Why, your dad used to talk about you all the time. You look just like him. But what are you doing working for this bastard? After what he did to your old Shut man? Shut your fucking mouth right now. Don't listen to him, Vito. He's full of shit. Come on, let's go. Full of shit, huh? That bastard killed your father, Vito. What? They're just trying to get under your skin, Derek. Hey, stop pointing that gun Why at don't me. Don't you ask him how your dad drowned Trap. that night. We seen him take a walk with Steve. And then Steve come back alone. And all wet. Stop pointing that thing at me. What the hell happened with my father, Derek? Are you nuts or what? Who are you gonna trust, me or these now unemployed losers? We known each other for a long time, Vito. Think of all Why the were things. Why you all wet, Steve? You dive in and try to save him? Because he wouldn't stay underwater. Keep your mouth shut. Vito, you swore an oath. I was there. Our loyalty to the family is greater than to our own families. Tell that to my mother. <sighs> Should I kill him? No, not here. We'll settle things with him later. You disappoint me, Vito. You really do. I'm gonna do a hell of a lot more than disappoint you, Derek. Your dad. Not right now. I gotta get that fuck before he runs away. Time to teach that fat fuck a lesson. Vinny, where'd you get that? Doesn't matter. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right, follow me, it's guys. Crazy. We shouldn't be doing this. Vito can handle himself. Some extra firepower ain't gonna hurt. Let's go, Vito. We got your back. Act up, just like your old man. I never trust.
whole life trying not to make the same mistakes in my life. Then I find out I'm following in his footsteps. It's good to finally know the truth, though. Derek's death also helped me resolve another problem. like I just found Derek's retirement funds. Cops. Yeah, they might be a problem, but anyone who saw us swear we did it in self-defense. You were never here. All right. Good luck, then. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. God help you. It's a good time of day to buy a boot. I got more. Oh. Sir, good to see you this afternoon. Please, sir. I'd take that gun outside if I were you. Please, oh God! Don't kill me! Please. Don't hurt me! Have a Caucasian male carrying a large firearm. Copy that.
Caucasian male carrying a large firearm. Copy that. Vehicle theft in progress. In pursuit of suspects. Just assaulted an officer. Roger that. Just gone back. Joe wasn't home. At first I thought he was just running a little late, so I went to grab something to eat. Right, Two hours later, Joe still wasn't home. It was getting dark, and I was getting worried. I had to go look for him. Maybe Joe checked in with Eddie at the Falcon.
Vito! Good, you're here. You, uh, you hear what happened? Wow, what's going on? Henry's dead. What? The fucking chinks hacked him to death in broad daylight. W why So you don't know anything about it. Well, uh, Henry wanted to bring me in on some deal, but I passed. What happened? Yeah, well, Henry is, well, was stupid. He was dealing dope with the tongs. He knew this was off limits and he got caught. Carlo let him off with a small fine and told him he'd forget about it. But the chinks double-crossed Henry and hacked him to pieces in the middle of the park. Shit. Ain't no doing business with the yellow man. But there's worse. Henry wasn't working alone. Yesterday, some guys massacred a shitload of the chinks over in Chinatown. Now they figure it must have either been us or Vinci. They already started threatening Vinci. If this don't get settled fast, we're all in deep shit. You sure you don't know nothing about it? Not a thing, Eddie, I swear. Yeah? How about Joe? Joe? Joe's with me last couple days. Well, you're lucky then. Carlo's out of town right now, but when he gets back, it ain't gonna be pretty. No shit. You better not be shitting me, Vito. Let's try Giuseppe next. He keeps his ear to the ground. Hey, Giuseppe, I'm looking for Joe Barbaro. Was he here today? Ah, no, Vito. Yeah, Joe came by today. Great, I've been looking for him the whole day. Did he say where he was heading? Well, no, he didn't. I don't think he knew himself. How come? Well, he was looking for a job, but before we managed to finish our conversation, a few guys came and took him away. What? Who? It was Vinci's people. They said Mr. Vinci wanted a word with him. You know where they would have went? No, lo so. Maybe to the bar, the Mona Lisa. Shit. Is there something wrong? Not sure. Let's just say we're not on the best of terms with Mr. Vinci these days. Yeah, Joe didn't look too happy. I got a bad feeling about this. I better go find out what's going on. I hope it's nothing serious. Buona fortuna, Vito. Ciao, Vito. What can I get you this time? Ciao, ragazzi. 